Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today we are checking out a program called Akita and the program has recently been released in the alpha version and it looks very very promising and following this project is the Kickstarter campaign and I'm, I was really looking forward to see this new machine initially we had to compile to run the program but nowadays you can just install from FlatHub or Snapcraft if you have Ubuntu this is already built in and let's see what we can do and even more challenging you will design a book cover in a cube you will soon see this problem for now is pretty limited but we're gonna work with what we have just to show you how much potential this program has. First off, here we have, and this program is built around the Elementary OS guidelines. It's meant to be an Elementary OS application. The panel, the main screen, right when you open the program, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty organized, intuitive, I would say. And we have here a simple menu, here we can create a new window, open a save file, open recent, and save and save as. I also noticed this shortcut, this is a pretty nice feature, I like it. What we can do? This is meant to be an application for you to draw some UI stuff. So if you are a UX or UI designer, this is a problem kind of focused on that spectrum. We have the concept of artboards. You can see that in Photoshop and all other side of programs. And this is a pretty nice feature where you can draw. Just select here, insert artboard or the letter A, and you drag an artboard, and you can already start designing. Also, notice here we have the name of the artboard. You can double click to rename this object. Yes, that's the main feature. You can have as many artboards as you wish, I think. Let's add another one here. One thing is you cannot copy and paste an artboard to create right now. Probably they're gonna add this in the future, but for now, this is not available. So, with space and drag the mouse, you can pan around the, the artboard and so here we have a cover we have two things, two faces of the book the front and the back let's create another one here in insert or A this time we use the shortcut key A no matter the size for now and now we're gonna resize it 600 by 900 600 by 900 yeah let's do it and this is the back right you can also re reorganize this by dragging around pretty intuitive i would say pretty great you can hide the artboard also just click in the over this this artboard and you can see that we have a lock icon that prevents you from changing something and we have the visibility chart with which you can hide some layers so let's now add some shapes we, here we have the zoom controls and for now, the only two shapes you can add is the rectangle and the ellipse. Not much, but good enough. You can work with this.
don't have text to available well we don't but we can work around this
there we have it so now let's export this uh, we have something here is that we can't export the whole artboard yet so what we're gonna do is select everything here highlight area to export and select our artboard 